Margaret, what the hell are you doing? See, Mommy? Now I look just like you. You take that off. Take it off! fuerte. I didn't hear you come home last night. Was it late? Surprised you noticed. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Billy Ray and I just went swimming with some kids after work. Oh, yeah? Kind of late to be out swimming, isn't it? Oh, hey! Dame un café. You should have seen your mama last night, eh? She had them rednecks howling como sure. canes. <laughs> Impersonated dog real well. I thought you liked dogs. Some of them. You think you can make them old boys howl como tu mama? Hey, you get any idea she's dancing out of your head right now? She's going to college. Give me some bacon and eggs. Make me some bacon and eggs. You want some bacon and eggs? Billy Ray is picking me up. Honey, have fun at school. Okay, Mom. You listen to me. Next time you touch Margaret, I'm going to kill you. Who the fuck about that, are I am not blind. You touch her again, and I will kill you. Hey, 
Put down. Don't ever threaten me again. Damn it. I can touch you, I can touch her, I can touch whoever I want. Without me, you're just another piece of meat. Come, baby. Be still beautiful. Catches you in my room. You can kiss your meal ticket goodbye. Yeah. With my connections and your body, I don't need a meal ticket. We can make some real money. You're dreaming. Country boy, you play with me. No games with me. A 17-year-old girl has no business painting her toenails red. It looks trashy. Oh, really? Then why do you do it? Have you seen Ramon? Yeah. He's in my bathroom. What were you doing in there? I fixed her plumbing. Did he try anything? Sure, Mom, and he raped me. Did you get smart with me, young lady? Now, what happened in here? Look, just because you're easy doesn't mean that I am. You watch your mouth. Excuse me. I have to pee. Just a minute. Later, Mom.
pick me up in the morning. Fuck him. Huh? I wanna know, come on, tell me. Did you fuck him? And what if I did? It's my body. Yeah, well, I wanna make it mine. Okay, now you mind me. Think so? Yeah. I'm uh, Dr. Margaret Stimson. This class will be in uh, six lectures worth one credit. The primary focus of today will be female sexuality. If any of you arrived at the class in error, feel free to leave before the lecture begins. I might add, uh, the discussion today will be short. Um, I, I don't seem to see you on my seating list. Ron, uh, Ron Sawyer, I signed up late. I, I see. Okay, good. Well, let's begin. Um, to understand the female sexuality, first we must understand what drives that sexuality. Oh, um, one more thing. You will be required to purchase my book. It's required reading for the class. 
Um, does anyone have any suggestions on what drives a woman's sexuality? A man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Sawyer is right. Well, partially right. Anything else? What about having children? Motherhood. Okay, fine. Anything else? What about the um, physical aspects? Well, to me, the physical aspects of sexuality aren't nearly as important as just being held and being close to the person, sharing. Good. Okay, how many of you have sex just to feel closeness? You're smiling, Mr. Sawyer. Does that surprise you? Not really. A woman derives strength and security from a man. <laughs> and what does a man derive from a woman? Sense of purpose. His very existence. Excellent. You, you'd make a wonderful politician. <laughs> Although I don't think many men would agree with you. Um, Any other comments? What about old-fashioned love? Isn't that the best reason for sex? Yes, based on the Judeo-Christian morality. <laughs> but unfortunately, good sex isn't always necessarily based on love. Well, wouldn't you agree that good sex has a better chance of it happening if both partners truly love each other? True love is not a prerequisite for sex. It is for marriage. More often than not, a woman will endure the marriage bed subject to the sexual gratification of her husband. <laughs> um, true love in many instances will help sustain that relationship, but in all probability, a woman's sexual desires would be fulfilled in the arms of another. You don't really believe that, do you? Studies show me to be correct. Haven't you ever had amazing sex with somebody you didn't love? Are you telling us you have? <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell. Okay, we'll pick up this discussion on Wednesday. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Simpson, some of us already have your book. Can I get your autograph? Hey, absolutely. Thank you. Dr. Simpson, after reading your book, my life has taken on a new purpose, and I've discovered my sexuality. I'm really happy for you. Good luck in the future. Thank you. Jogger found him around 7 this morning. My guess is he's been dead about 48 hours. Get the hell out! Hey, thanks for the scoop. Yeah, hey, well, just remember, you owe me. Call the coroner. I will lab report on that guy on my desk immediately. You'll get your lab report. Hey, Hancock, you taking me to dinner tonight? Payday's three days away. I quit being such a cheapskate. You've got a visa. Well, why don't we go Dutch? Women's live and all that. Well, I, I believe in women's live, but only when it suits my purpose. Italian, okay? Pick me up at eight. observation about true love. I disagreed with him at first, but the more I think about it, the more I think he was right. Ah. Delivery for Dr. Margaret Simpson. Holy cow. One moment. You have delivery. Bring it in. Oh, you've got to come see this. Dr. Margaret Simpson? Yes. They're beautiful. Who sent them? No idea, lady. I only deliver them. They sign this. Sure. Thanks. Is there a card? I bet Dr. Thank Ornstein you. sent them. Mm. Dr. Simpson's office? It's Paul. I mean, Dr. Ornstein. 
Tell him I'll call him back. Oh, better yet, ask him to meet me at Landry's for lunch. She's busy at the moment. She'd like you to meet her for lunch. Yes, usual place, Landry's. I'll tell her. From someone who believes in love. Hmm. Stacy, call student registration. I'd like to see an enrollment card on a Ron Sawyer, please. Yes, ma'am. The day started out <laughs> unusually. So anyway, at first I thought the flowers were from you. Well, you sounded like you uh, really enjoyed receiving them. I did. Do I note a little tone of jealousy in your voice? I just don't think it's a good idea to promote a close relationship with a student. You are. You are jealous. I, I'm not. Jealousy is not the word. I am concerned. Well, whatever. It's nice to know you care. Well, I do. <laughs> so here's to a beautiful weekend. Oh. Oh? My agent booked me on something this weekend. Your agent? So... How is the book coming? It's selling great. Mm. But you know what? I think I only have to do something Saturday night. We can have dinner at my place Sunday night. That's better. Can't do a hell of a Sunday night. <laughs> I'm not to plan something to do. I mean, besides the usual. Well, I'll bring the board game over. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <clears throat> what do you want me to cook? You don't eat anything anyway. Well, I, I do eat something. <laughs>
cab's waiting. Thanks. Um, give this the guy I was dancing with, would you? Make it. Just hold me, okay? I really missed you today. Sweet thing. Hello? I don't know. I think it was the wrong number. It's your lucky day, Hancock. I've got two ham sandwiches, one with pickle, one without, two coffees. Take a pick. Without. Did you get the coroner's report? The victim died from loss of blood due to his throat being slashed open. Well, that is a surprise. Mm. Well, we also know that the, uh, let's see, that the killer's left-handed, that the victim has a wife, two kids, no previous record, Mr. Clean. That uh, he was lasting alive at some titty bar called Michael's. And we found this in his coat pocket. That's we know about her, as her name is, get this, Madam Ecstasy. She's probably not a local. Walt found out from the bar that she's uh, booked out of Dallas Caligula Agency. So we'll complete chapter three, and I'll see you on Friday. <clears throat> Mr. Sawyer, may I see you a moment? Mr. Sawyer, I'd like to thank you for the flowers. Call me Ron. I I'm glad you like them. Um, I'd appreciate it if, in the future, you would refrain from showing me any attention other than that of a student-teacher relationship. Why are you so upset? I'm not upset. I'm just saying if you want to stay in the class, no more personal displays of affection. In that case, I'll drop the class. Ron, and Mr. Sawyer... I like um, Ron better.
Could you page Dr. Ornstein for me, please? Oh, he has. What time did he leave? Okay, uh, now just tell him Dr. Simpson called. I'm at home. He's got the number. Thanks. Hey. You scared me half to death. Didn't mean to. God. How'd you get in? You gave me a key, remember? Oh, yeah. You want a glass of wine? Absolutely. Come back, I'll get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No. Mm, better call me. Yeah, this is Paul. All right, listen. Um, call Samuel. Tell him I'll be there in 20 minutes. And call Baxter, too, okay? Yeah. Good. Don't tell me. Please. Not uh, Sorry about that. Doctor, you don't know what you're going to miss. Mm. Oh, Lordy. Can't somebody else do it? No, darling, they can't do it. I don't believe this. Where's your car? Uh, parked it out on the street. What? I'd like to see the club owner. Oh. All right. Go on in. What are you drinking? Nothing. Lieutenant? You want to see me? What are you drinking? Do you know her? She's danced here. All the broads dance here sooner or later. What do you know about her? She's a dancer. They come, they go. I don't ask questions. She wears a mask and uses the name Madame Ecstasy. That's all I know. What's her real name? Look, I run a straight joint here. If this broad's got problems, I ain't involved. Don't tell me what I want to know. She's strictly cash and carry. No payroll checks. Her booking agency's out of Dallas. The Caligula Agency. Call them. And that's all you know? That's all I know. Well, 
If you decide to remember anything, call me. The more I dance, the more freedom I feel as a woman. Not Dr. Margaret Simpson, but me, the person. I'm discovering my own sexuality. I like sex, but at the same time, it scares me a little. I wonder if that's how my mother felt. When they watch me dance, I know they want me. But what they don't know is that they make the dancing easier. I can feel their passion. I can see it in their eyes. I can feel it in their hands when they touch me. Madame Ecstasy is alive and well. End of chapter three. Um, Stacy, after you type this up, send it to my agent. Get an immediate response, please. Thanks. Samuel Orenstein. Dr. Orenstein, please. Dr. Orenstein has left. Well, let's see. He checked out at 845. Thank you. Jane, you missed one hell of an evening. Was it good with me? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> good. You won't need her anymore. You are a bad thing. you get my phone number. What you doing? It's none of your business. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're taking a bath. <laughs> what are you doing? Lying here naked thinking about you taking a bath. <laughs> what you thinking about? I'm thinking I'm gonna hang up. Goodbye.
Morning, Patrick. Son of a bitch tried to kill me. Did you get his license? No, sir. It happened too fast. Rack smoking asshole. God damn. Damn. He sure wasted them pants. I buy suits with two pair of pants just for that reason. I hope you did the same. Well, I appreciate your concern, but no, I didn't. All them degrees. And he hasn't got the smarts to buy suits with two pair of pants. So in a psychological survey like this one, your names aren't as important to me as it is to fill out the rest of the questionnaire with age, marital status, that sort of thing. Yes? Uh, what type of movie are we watching? It'll be X-rated. I've never seen one before. Oh, good. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Did Paul call? No. You know me any good? Yeah, actually. Go ahead and watch it. I'll answer the phones. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Okay. Don't forget to fill out a questionnaire. All right. Did you get that information on Ron Sawyer that I wanted? Yeah, I just came in. Top five. Thanks. <laughs> Where would you like to go? I know this bar on the bay that makes great margaritas. I'd rather have a beer. They keep long necks on ice. Okay. Your car, mine. I'll follow you. Well, they were beautiful flowers, but they almost had me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, a friend of mine's a florist. <laughs> Would you like another round? Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks. So what did you do after the Navy? Became a bartender. Oh, really? How'd you like it? Pays the rent. <laughs> Got it. Why did you call me last night? Why'd you call me today? You have beautiful eyes. It's getting late. I gotta go. It's early. What are you afraid of? Maybe myself. But it's not like I don't have anything else to do. There's nothing more important than right now. This moment. I mean, for all we know, it could be our last. You're a bit of a fatalist, aren't you? No, a realist. I want you, Margaret. I want us to be together. I want to touch you. I want us to have a baby. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm sure you are. You realize I have a relationship, right? I know. I have more to offer. Margaret, please sit down. Look, I'm not sure what you have to offer is anything I could really use. Do you realize how much older I am than you? The only way to know if the water's warm enough to swim in is just to dive right in. You're talking apples and oranges. I gotta go. Maggie, wait! a chance. Can't you come over tonight? I got a C-section in about 30 minutes. 
Well, I'll wait up. Maggie, honey, it's gonna be awfully late. Will you call me later? I really need your call, please. I will call. I promise. Sure. Big as life. Social number she gave the clubs was hers. She scrambled the numbers up, but our lab boys unscrambled them. Put someone on her. I want pictures of everyone around her coming and going. You got it. Oh, by the way, she's booked in the Regency this Friday night. If you're interested. Hello? You're alone, aren't you? Yes, I'm alone. You sound close. Where are you? I'm on the bay. It's a nice night for lovers. You know, you've got to stop this nonsense. <laughs> I can't. What are you wearing? Well, good night, Mr. Sawyer. actually back Hancock on the ponytail thing? The goddamn union had to back him up on that thing. The only time I ever disagreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, back man. to work. Back to work. <laughs> Hancock, is it true there's been another murder? Which one? The man of ecstasy murders. Who gave you that name? Ah, you tell me what you know, I'll tell you what I know. Get off the fishing expedition. The, the story's blown. My paper is waiting for confirmation to print. Does a Dr. Margaret Simpson ring a bell? You print that story, and a killer goes into hiding. What do you want to hold a story? First day exclusive. Are you happy being a parasite? Guys, I have a question for you. No, no, wait, what is this about? In my office now. I gotta go. Shut the door. Who else knows? Just Stevenson. Hell, he approached me. He knew every damn detail down to the wire. Give the arsehole the exclusive. All I can say is, you'd better bring her in before the boys in the press force you to. She is not the killer. But she is the reason that the damn killer is killing. You know it, and so do I. I do not need you to tell me how to do my fucking job, all right? I hope you're right. Did Dr. Ornstein return my call yet? He asked me to tell you he'd be in surgery all day. Well, when did he call, Stacy? You were with a patient. Transfer my messages to my voicemail at home. I'll be out the rest of the day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 
Ron? Ron, are you home? And the one who would destroy me. It's, my mind is, is crowded with thoughts of fraud. Margaret, please let me in. Go away. Margaret! Margaret, please just let me in. Please? We belong together. Please? Like some help? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Here. Mm. Uh, be careful. It's the only throat I got. <laughs> Don't worry. I used to be my dad. Oh, boy.
Good morning. What are you doing here? Mind if I come in? Well, it's not really a good time. Morning, Doc. Oh, <laughs> isn't that your student? Ron, can you leave us? I need to talk to Paul alone. Sure. Later. You bastard. You're lucky I didn't break your neck. Stop it. I think you better go. It's all coming apart for you, isn't it? Miss Ecstasy. Oh, yeah, darling. <laughs> I know all about that. Paul. I need my gate key. I'm going to take a shower. Would you like to take one with me? Maggie, you're going to have to make a decision between him or me. And from what I've just witnessed, he's made that pretty easy for you. I think I've confused fantasy with reality. The problem is, I can't distinguish between the two. Sex with Ron is, well, it has a dark side. The more I get, the more I want. But he's right. Madame Ecstasy is a live, breathing, very real part of me. Uh, send him in, I guess. Dr. Simpson? We have no way of knowing if the killer is out there or not. You could be his next victim. Well, what do you suggest I do? Cancel the show. I can't do that. Gentlemen, let's welcome the fabulous Madame Ecstasy. What's he doing? Police protection, remember? Oh. Look, I, uh... Let's talk, okay? Now? Yeah. I, I'll take you for a drink. We'll talk, we'll... Let's talk. Let's talk. Hold on a second. Who is he? He's gonna take me home. Who is he? Look, he's just a friend. There's no reason to mix him up in this. No deal. You're in the police protection at the moment. I need his name. Dr. Paul Ornstein. Look, I'll be fine. How about a little of the red? 
you ever see me drink red wine? Why did you ask me here, Paul? What do you What do you want? Well, well a lot of things, but uh, how about a new beginning? It's very sweet, but I think it's a little late. Are you two coming to bed? <sighs> That's brilliant. Hmm. Looks like your little plan didn't work, baby. Are you lost? I'm sure feel that way. Can I come in? Sure. Come on in. Well, I've been standing out here 20 minutes. Can you call him and check? Never mind. Here he is. One of us, where are you screwing? I'm sorry. What a bloody mess. We uh, took these from Dr. Simpson's house. Two of the waitresses recognized him from the bar last night. His name's Ron Sawyer. Does he have a rap sheet? Mm-hmm. He spent 18 months at Gainesville Correctional School for Boys. Seems he uh, tried to kill his mother's boyfriend. Walked in on him while they were getting it on. Poor place in a juvenile. This is Dr. Ornstein. Supposedly it's her boyfriend. We're running a make on the female right now. According to her secretary, uh, she was running around with Sawyer and the secretary was running around with Ornstein. Etc., etc. Et Pick Sawyer up and bring him in for questioning. All units, be on the lookout for Ronald B. Sawyer, a male Caucasian, six foot two inches, blue eyes, brown hair. Suspect is He's got pretty good taste in music. Now, here's a nasty little blade. The University Board of Regents announced today that Dr. Margaret Simpson will have to appear before them tomorrow to answer charges of misconduct with the student. Did she give us any information? No, she admits to sleeping with Sawyer. That's all she says she knows about him. She left Ornstein's apartment about 3 a.m. Cab company verified it. Her attorney's outside. Let her go. Her boyfriend's still out on the street. How do you know she's not in with him? We don't have ten cents of evidence to hold her on. Fucking someone isn't a crime. Well, what the hell am I supposed to tell the press? 
Fuck the press. No. No, you miss this one and the press fucks you. That's my problem. I do not want her name released to the press. Oh, well, too late. Those snoops jerked that one from our boys in blue hours ago. That's fucking great. You know, if you were smart, Hancock, you'd throw her ass in the city tank overnight. She might tell you the truth. Clouds are now gathering in this community, but they are nothing compared to the storm clouds gathering in the life of Dr. Margaret Simpson, alias Madame Ecstasy. Join me tonight at 11 for her complete story. Yeah. When is the Regents hearing? Tomorrow. But I've asked for a postponement. Uh, you're in no condition to go through that. We all know what the verdict's gonna be. Let's just get it over with. Your life. I want to go to the funeral home. Family's asked that you not show up. Sorry. Guess I deserved it. I like it. May I? Please. Do you like a glass? No. Have you heard from Sawyer? No. What makes you think he's the killer? Mostly circumstantial, history of violence. What makes you think he's not? Doesn't matter. Dr. Simpson, until we can talk to him, he's our man. We have no other suspect. Ron's not a killer. Obsessed, maybe, but not a killer. I'm not going to debate that with you. I had hoped you would cooperate with us. So maybe you could kill him? Lieutenant, my actions have been responsible for enough deaths. I'm not going to be responsible for Ron's. If he's the killer, he belongs up the streets. If he's not, he needs his name cleared. Either way, we're going to find him. So what you're saying is I really don't have a choice. I'm sorry I had to turn out this way. The press wasn't my idea. I played the game, paid the price. You know what's ironic? My publisher says the publicity will make my book a bestseller. Destroying one life helps another. Will you call me if he contacts you? If you promise not to hurt him. That's up to him. I would prefer it if he'd give himself up of his own accord. Then I'm sorry I can't help you. I have to tell you, we will be watching this house night and day. Do you really think he'll try and contact me? He's in love with you. If it were me, I would. Have you ever been in love, Lieutenant? It has crossed my mind recently.
What's a five letter word for dog? Bitch. You ever know a woman who lives alone in a house to turn off all the lights? Hell, I love alone and I don't do it. Drexel 4, Drexel 4, do you read me? Drexel 4, I'll read you loud and clear. No leaves in there, move in as close as you can. No shooting, I repeat, no shooting, I want this bird alive.
believe he's in there? He's there. say if you give yourself up you get a fair trial i can hire an attorney i can help you you think i killed him they identified your truck as the one that almost ran paul down yeah that was stupid but i promise you i didn't kill him then please give yourself up later maybe i just want to be with you right now Axel Ford. Come on, Hancock. Make your move. We're running low on gas. Please give yourself up. I can't. Then don't come back. I'll call you and tell you where to meet me. I won't. Are you Post our hand. Leave us alone. I'm sorry, Ron. Leave us alone. Sure it was stupid of him to come back. And the pathologist confirmed Sawyer wasn't left-handed. Then he's not our killer. I want a complete file on Dr. Simpson, her life history. Are you reopening up the case? Yes. Who's working with me? 
Everyone, including the sick and the lame. My guess is he'll turn his attention towards her. She's the reason he killed. She's really got you by the balls, hasn't she? Work. For the first time in my life, I'm truly alone. My very existence has been drained. Ron was right. Men and women do share and draw off each other. Violated his trust, used him. Paul and Ron are both dead because of me. Life's gonna be one long guilt trip from here. We need to talk. About me or you? You! The killer's still out there. Yeah. Tell that to Ron. Ugly, isn't it? No. I'm just surprised to see you. Yeah. You ran out. You left me after that bitch did this to me. It wasn't my fault. No! You're not going anywhere. First time I brought you, I thought it was a joke. 
You booked me. It took me a long time to find out who you were. Or was I surprised when it was you? I knew then I could get revenge. I own the Caligula agency in Dallas. I watch you night after night after night after night after night. I watch you dance for them. I watch them touch you. Taking what was mine, what I paid for with my blood. Entiendes? Now you're gonna dance for me, and you dance for them. And then, and then we're gonna make love. It'll be like before, baby. Only better. Let me answer it. If you don't, he'll come over here.
you go? Lucky, I guess. If you hadn't been stubborn, I wouldn't have known. Oh, God, thanks for caring. Look. After all this is over, maybe we can have dinner sometime. How about now? Okay. <laughs>